Today we're going to have a look at some open source intelligence, um, primarily reverse image search. And I'll show you a little bit about that. Now most people know reverse uh, image search. If you go to Google, you click on images. Then there is this little camera where you can click and you can upload a picture or URL. There are others and it's quite important that you learn them. Tiny Eye is really good at copyright stuff, then there's Bing, sometimes it's useful, and Yandex, Yandex is actually quite impressive, then there is Baidu, which is Chinese, if you're ever in China, it might be useful, and last but not least, I will um, show you a little bit how to analyze a picture, and I will also show you how you can use Reddit to get information. We're going to look at uh, four pictures. Here, with these pictures, we're going to try to locate where they come from, this one we're going to try to find out how old this picture is and we're going to try to find out where this picture is taken. We start with the first picture. I uploaded this to um, Google and as you can see no other size of this image are found. And try Baidu, the Chinese one. Number four image. They actually have it and if you click on it it will um, bring you to a website that sells trips to Berlin and Hamburg. So this is the first indication this could possibly be in Hamburg. Bing failed completely. It uh, came with some suggestions, but none of them was actually where this was. And now I will show you a little video of uh, Yandex. I uploaded the same image to uh, Yandex in Russia. And it suggests me here Aarhus Embarkment, Hamburg River, Hamburg. Now I'm going to look if I can find images that are similar and here we have one and we can see here are the green plants um, out of the balconies and it says Alsterfleet Hamburg you can see that here we continue a bit here's another one very clear Hamburg this is not ah, this is one again here this is Hamburg. So by now we're quite convinced this is the exact image here. Pretty good. You can even see these small balconies where people can sit and eat. And again it says Fenster des Restaurant. Now which means we can identify this restaurant. We will probably be able to identify this building as well and then we can calculate um, where it was taken from, it was obviously taken from about here. Now the original picture doesn't have sun, that's a pity, because otherwise we could probably even estimate the day. Now this is also uh, Yandex. Yandex found this girl. Three images. Google said cleavage, but no other size of this image was found. Tiny Eye found two. Out of 46 billion images they found this one and this one. This one is a 4chan and we were looking for how old it was. And so this one says February 1, 2017 on 4chan. Uh, Baidu, because of their filters, they prefer to have uh, safer work pictures. Uh, so they just have some, well, what can I say, aerobic pictures or something like that. But they didn't find the image. And then we go to Bing. Now Bing didn't do too bad this time. Uh, it found the three images that Yandex also found. But much more important is it actually tells you that five years ago uh, somebody had a blog rambling of a semi madman and he posted this picture on the 27th of August 2015. So we know it's at least five and a half years old. The next image, again, Google, uh, no other size of this image found, but Yandex, uh, they, the first image they find is actually this one. I clicked on it. When you click on it, it says George Medellin's um, Hulbe House. So it identifies this house as Hulbe House. Uh, and when I search that, then I actually get an address. Mecklenburgstrasse 21 in Hamburg. So we did locate this place. And 
Bing failed us and TinyEye failed us as well. Now we're going to have a look at this one. I tried <coughs> with uh, Google, Bing, TinyEye and none of them could find it. Now I'll show you what I did in uh, Yandex to give me an idea where this possibly was. We have enhanced the image and now we are going to try to see if um, we can find this logo that potentially can indicate where it's from. So we'll do a search and we yeah we have one here that looks pretty similar. Let's see what this is. Oh, the Copenhagen city symbol on tourism. Fine. We now know exactly where this picture was taken, somewhere in Copenhagen. Since we now know what this is, um, and we know it's Copenhagen, I can use a sun calculator, because on the picture I can see where the sun is, to give me an idea where I have to look. Parking garage. Now, because I use the sun calculator, I have a pretty good idea that it is this one. And I can make another video about how the sun calculator works. It's, it's a bit complicated. So what I do now is I go to satellite. And make it a little bit bigger. And then I take Google Street View and throw this one here. Okay. And then there we have the building. And I assume that in this street the picture was taken approximately here, I think. Now we turn around. We have this structure here. We might even have the same car there. Now we have this shop here. This was obviously very easy. One could just Google that shop and then one could find it. Um, but I think we actually found it. Last but not least, uh, sometimes you can go to Reddit and there is a subreddit there. Where is this? It's very good. You upload a picture and there are about 40,000 people that will try to help you to identify where this is. So this is an old example. Somebody posted a picture and very shortly after that, somebody actually gives you the answer. Definitely a, a good tool if you cannot find it on any of the search engines I discussed here. Uh, thank you for watching and if you like it, subscribe.